Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back, Mr. T in the house again for the Moment Mike and Friends show. And today we're going to be having another look at a, another Boonahaven. The Viking done one the other day, and he had you know, real reason to struggle and pronounce that. I mean, I did. So today I'm going to struggle with this one. It's 12 year old, only joking. Fresh bottle, as are all of, the, all of these, because I haven't opened them as yet. Now then. Is this a tumbler or is it a Glencairn or is it a tumbler? We don't know. But to save that, I've got two of these. By the way, Ben, House of Malt, old label, old logo, sorry. I need a new one, so when the new ones come through, I'll recycle this one back to you and hopefully. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a bit of each or bit into each and we'll uh, see what we'll get from there. Gonna have them. Now it's. Not known for me to like peated whiskey or whiskies from Isle. Uh, but I do like a Boonhaven. I think because it's on the lighter side. But anyway, we'll go into that. I do like the 12. It is a favourite of mine. Completely different than those folks. More concentrated on, on the Glencairn, so we'll stick with the Glencairn for now. Colour wise, you, we've got a nice russet gold colour there. Natural colour, until filtered, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, cracking colour for, for a 12 year old. Nose wise, pretty fresh. Aromatic. Slightly fruity. Is that right? Slightly fruity. Fruity floral. And it has that ever so slight touch of smoke lingering in the background there. Do I get anything else with this apple? Possibly. But I'm definitely getting those dried fruits. Sultanas, currants, raisins, stuff like that. On the palate, so slange, or as the uh, Whiskey Viking said the other night, Skull! Hmm. My stomach gurgling there. Don't know why. Very light. Fruity. Shut up, stomach. You're going to be fed shortly. Slightly nutty. B. Yeah, and you're still getting those fruits. Definitely. Slightly sweet, not overly sweet. And dare I say a little bit of vanilla in there. It's got a good set of legs on that. Don't know if you can just catch them coming down. No? Caramel. A slight Caramel, not too burnt, not too rich, not too sweet. Now, this does linger a little bit. It's got a good taste to it. And it, it does cut the mouth very well. And very, a bit of tannins coming from it because you've got that dried lips. So I'm going to try it again. A little couple of dashes of water. A bit of water fairly adds, opens it up. It adds to that freshness a little bit more, opens up the dried fruits even more. It's gone to that smoky liquid Christmas cakey type of whiskey. Can you get a smoky Christmassy type cake whiskey? If you can't then that's the one. And I may add that this as a Boonahaven is again at 46.3%. Always good to have that a little bit higher ABV because it allows you to cut it with a bit of water once you've done your initial taste and to see what you're going to actually get out of it. So yeah, very nice. Now, people wouldn't normally associate me with a Peter whiskey, but I do have the Takida, I think it's how to pronounce, and the Sturida. Now, 
both of these I've had and both of them I like. I think because it's slightly you know, on the north end of the island, they, they're a bit more subtle. Now, Brunehaven do have a couple of heavily peated drums, which I've yet to try. I've got one on order. Uh, it may end up terribly, terribly wrong, but never mind. Yeah. And even with a bit of water in, it still lingers, and you've still got those tannins. Yeah. Those dry teeth and the, the dry lips after tasting. So I did say I didn't have a lot, because it's uh, now coming up for 10 to 6. And I've got to uh, be up at 3.30 in the morning. So I'm going to have this. I'm going to go and have a shave. I'm going to go and have my tea with my dear wife, because she's just coming home from the hospital. She works there. She's not been in. And uh, so with this, see you all later. Mr. T out. Yeah. Just neck that one as well. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that. And click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.